You will need to follow the instructions in my earlier tutorial video to download the Skylake Reinstallationizer and create a bootable USB and have the correct UEFI BIOS settings if your system has a UEFI BIOS. So what you want to do is insert the bootable USB into your Dell and power it down. And then you want to power up your Dell and tap F12 repeatedly. And this will take you into your UEFI boot menu. And you want to press the down arrow key until you get to your bootable USB flash drive. So I'm going to install Windows 7 in English, English UK. And select next and select install now. And because I deleted the ei.cfg file, I'll get the option to select my edition of Windows. Note that only the 7 Professional Edition has been updated to 2016. I'm going to select this edition and I'm going to select Next. I'm going to accept the license agreement and then select Next. I'm going to select Custom here. And here you would go to Drive Options and delete all the partitions if they were present. But this disk has been wiped. And now it's a case of waiting for the installation to proceed. So you go through the steps, copying Windows files, expanding Windows files, installing features, and installing updates. On the next screen, you'll get Windows needs to restart to continue. At this stage, it's advisable to remove the Windows 7 bootable USB so you don't boot to it instead of the Windows installation. You'll see the Dell splash screen and it should go through the stage completing the Windows installation. And then once again, it will restart, taking you to the last stages of the setup. So at this screen you'll need to enter your username and give your computer a name. You'll then be asked whether you want to set a password, you'll be asked your Windows update settings and then you'll be asked your time and date settings. So then your new user account will be created and you'll be finally logged on to the Windows 7 desktop. So if Windows 7 Professional was installed on an illegible Dell system, it should automatically be activated and we can check this by going to start, right clicking computer and then selecting properties. To the bottom you'll see Windows is activated and you'll see that the product ID contains OEM and then 899. If we had instead opted to install Home Premium or Ultimate, I'll use the case of Home Premium. During the installation we'll be asked for a product key. And although you'll have one on your system COA, what we're going to do is we're going to skip its entry during installation to initiate a 30 day trial. So here's the screen where we select skip. So once again, we'll get to the desktop. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to start and right click computer and then select properties. And because the original installation media wasn't set up for home premium, we'll see that Windows is not activated. We're going to amend this by copying the following OEM folder to the C drive. 
So first we need to select our OEM, which is Dell. Then we need to select our version of Windows, which is Home Premium. And we copy this OEM folder to the C drive. Now we open this folder and we right click the script file and select run as administrator. So the license file will install successfully, press OK. It will then input the OEM system locked pre-installation key, which is the same key that the Dell Windows 7 Home Premium reinstallation DVD would use. Once this is done, press OK. And we can now get rid of this OEM folder. And we can once again go to computer, right click it and select properties and check the product activation. We'll see that Windows is now activated and the product ID contains OEM 899. So it's worthwhile installing three updates immediately after clean installation. The first one is the service stack. This is KB3020369 and is required as a prerequisite for the convenience rollup. Once this update is installed, ensure you restart your computer. The next update is the convenience rollup. That is KB3125574. Although this update is called the convenience rollup, it is in essence a service pack. In this case, Windows 7 Service Pack 2. And like any service pack installation, it will take a while to install this update. Although in essence this update is a service pack, Microsoft do not treat it as one. So if you go to Start and right click Computer and go to Properties, it will still say Service Pack 1, even though effectively Service Pack 2 has been installed. Again, restart your computer after this update. If you've used the professional edition of the ISO, then Internet Explorer 11 will already be installed. If you've used Home Premium or Ultimate, you'll need the prerequisite updates for Internet Explorer 11, and then you'll need to install Internet Explorer 11. Again, you'll need to restart after each update. The last and final update is the security monthly quality rollup. And you only need to install the latest one of these updates available in the Microsoft Update Catalog. After this is done, you can go ahead and install your hardware specific drivers.